Hey gang, this is Pablo Costa from Pressured. Uh, back again here uh, with Pressured Designer, uh, or what I'm going to say, it's applicable also for to know Red. Uh, looking at one of those notes that is not always top of mind, but is super helpful in, in certain situations, and that is the uh, complete note. So the idea here is that um, there are some nodes that do not have an output, but they do certain processing. And that sort of processing might be pretty long, uh, or even if it's not long, uh, there's no way to tell when they're done uh, doing their, uh, their job. Uh, so for those situations where one wants to uh, continue the processing or do something after a particular node that has no output is, is finished, then that's where the, the complete node comes into play. So the example I have here is um, just an injector to generate an event. Then that message will go into this uh, function node, which is uh, our quote unquote processing node. And so what I have here is just a delay function. And just so that we know when the node starts processing, I'm just gonna send a warning to the debug uh, sidebar. Uh, and then the quote unquote process is gonna take five seconds. And then and we're gonna get another message when the processing is done. Uh, and here uh, to exemplify, you don't necessarily need to do anything special for the complete node to work. When the, uh, a particular node ends its uh, handling of a message, then others need it. Uh, you could do an explicit node or done, but it's uh, it, it just doesn't need to be that way. Uh, even in cu in custom nodes, you might write uh, when you say node on message do something when that function ends, then that essentially sends, sends a signal to the uh, complete node uh, that uh, that particular node has uh, finished. Uh, so uh, here in the complete node, you have to pick which node you want to monitor. Uh, and uh, the difference with uh, other nodes like the status node, uh, or the catch node where you can select multiple ones. Here you have to select which one specifically you want to um, you want to monitor. You cannot monitor all all of them. But when, once you select that, then you will get a message out of this uh, output node, uh, this uh, complete node, when the uh, this long process node has ended. And let's just demonstrate. So we inject uh, now. The node has started processing, and after five seconds, we're going to get another message, start processing, and lo and behold, this is the uh, the message we get. And in addition, we get the message, the input message that was uh, sent to this node, uh, which is helpful if, if that message has any particular metadata that you need to use uh, and downstream from, from the node you have access to it. So it's not like you just get a signal when the node ends, but you also get uh, what it received. Of course, you don't necessarily get uh, in this message what the node has perhaps processed or output, but in that case, you would, presumably you, that node would have had an output. Um, so very helpful for nodes like email or uh, perhaps some database node that you don't have an access to uh, or an output to let you know when it's uh, done, or any, uh, in general, any node that uh, does not have an output, but you still want to link any further action only after when uh, the node is done, then the complete node comes to the rescue. Again, kind of underutilized, or perhaps I said not top of mind, not something that you think of. Uh, a lot of people just uh, put a, a fixed delay and you know hope that, that that's enough. No need to, the complete node uh, is your friend and it will uh, help you in those situations. As always, if you have any other node, uh, be it a uh, node red node, uh, stock node red node, or any contributor node that uh, you always wonder how it works or uh, you want me to take a deeper dive, just let me know uh, in the comments below. Thank you, bye-bye.